Whoa, 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 just cut that intro. Before we start this video, guys, I just want to let you know the last two games I played were on stream, so if the quality is a little bit bad, then yeah. Um, we also got donated Lamella by someone called Mark. So he will be in the next episode if I can get round to doing it, because FIFA 13 is shit and we all can't wait to FIFA 14. Here's the video, enjoy it, guys. Peace. What is going on lads? Max here from Extra Gameplays bringing you episode 5 of Soldado's Road to the Lane and yeah, we're still not at 50 goals we're on... I'm not going to spoil it for you because there's... yeah, there's, there's more goals in the last episode than... nope, there's more goals in this episode what am I about? yep, there's more goals in this episode guys so definitely uh, carry on watching we start off this series episode oh my god, I've said episode about 10 times episode we, we come up against this guy, Class on Grass he's got the pretty average Premier League team that you see on FIFA 13 and let's face it, I'm sick of FIFA 13 as my face comes up on the screen there that just shows I love FIFA 13 but nothing happens this game lads in the 38th minute this is literally all that happens I nearly score a header from outside the keeper's own box and in the 52nd minute Ben Arthur gets played down the wing with a juicy little curler into the top left absolutely class finish I remember seeing that on FIFA 12 and it actually looks like that is back for FIFA 14 according to the demo anyway I don't actually believe EA are going to keep it like that because otherwise everyone's going to be complaining about scoring finesse shots from like 40-50 yards like Etani's video with Ibrahimovic and as you can see here there lads, I did actually take Soldado off, don't even ask me why, I have no idea, I, that means I didn't get to score with him this game and I was actually pissed off with that, pissed off with myself, but you know what, I got back in the game, I ended up taking the game two extra time, I had 19 shots that whole game, so I just really couldn't, really couldn't get that third goal and go on to win this game until the guy passed it to me from a little free kick that he got there or offside, I don't even know what it was for, Mira were holding off that defender, I believe it was David Luiz or... No, it wasn't David Luiz, but whatever. He held someone off with, like, his 65 pace. 65 pace? I genuinely can't even think tonight. It's, he has, like, 70 strength. Let's just leave it at that. He's not known for his strength. He's not meant to be known for his strength, but he held him off. And, yeah, on to the next team, guys. 83 chemistry. This guy doesn't even know what chemistry is. But, you know, you don't even need it on this game. And S1 goes and proves me wrong there. You don't need it because he fires it into the back of the net. But I thought, no, oh, look, this guy's getting a bit cocky. He tried doing an offside trap. So I was bursting through. Four players bursting through. Chip through to Soldado, didn't get there, but Guadardo, is that how you say his name? I believe it is. I can never pronounce his name in any episode, but oh well. So we passed it to Soldado, straight away there. I believe we're in for his 29th goal, I'm not really sure. And that was about to be the start of something amazing for Soldado, because he goes on, tackles this defender, and check this out, smash. In off the crossbar from like 25 yards. We will take that, thank you very much Soldado. That is two for this game. This guy gets through on goal with Jeff Ran, and this is absolute bullshit. I've never seen anything like this on FIFA. I was going to say COD there, don't even ask me why. I've never seen anything like this on FIFA. And that is one of the reasons I'm quitting because... Well, quitting FIFA 13. <laughs> Waiting for FIFA 14. I don't actually know why, I can't even, can't even speak tonight. But Soldado did get his hat-trick. And the rules of this series is when Soldado gets a hat-trick... I get to apply an attribute card to him, so there you go, you can see I applied a plus 10 attribute card to him, so he's going to be absolutely on fire in this next game against Team Mars Bars, and he's rocking, well not the everyday Bundesliga team that you actually see, he's got a few shit players in there, but you know, he goes winding up again, and this is actually what happens all the time, I always concede to shit teams over and over again, and this is one of the reasons I actually genuinely need to get Podolski on the next one because if he's this good, he just picks the ball up obviously on the halfway line and because of my shit defending, he just runs and pokes it into the bottom right hand corner of the net. But Soldado just does have that plus 10 attribute card guys and that defender just then must have got scared and thought I'm not going anywhere near him. <laughs> so he just seemed to back off and Soldado punishes. Great goal, straight into the bottom right hand corner, smashes it. Um, and then this happens. So I didn't really know what to say about that, apart from thank you very much for giving me that, that, that goal and getting me back in the game, mate. But unfortunately, I'm going to punish you in extra time because this game did go to extra time. Because I'm that shit and I'm not on full chem now. Oh, I am shit, actually, because I just gave him this goal. I uh, totally forgot about that one. S1 pokes it at home in the 107th minute. And talking about Podolski, check this, lads. Look, I just can't... I just uh, Look, that's Sissoko, and Sissoko is pretty... Pretty average strength. I mean, he's not he's not known for being pushed off the ball. 
And as you'll see in real life, he's a pretty, pretty decent defender. That's why Liverpool signed him. And he got given a penalty for that. I mean, it was an absolute joke. 190th minute. There's no way I can get back in this. But, you know, there's that thing called scripting. And there you go. That's 120th minute scripting. So Sadardo so grabs another hat trick. And I was absolutely buzzing. And it went to extra time. And he scored that. And that won the game for him. But I wasn't too bothered because it means soldado has got some more goals added to his belt. I believe he's on 33 goals now. I'm not really sure, but that was the most ridiculous penalty I've ever seen. So uh, this is actually the last two games I did actually stream. So for those of you who were there, thank you very much for coming along and watching me play. Uh, he got straight back in it though. With the, It was a nice little cheeky... I should have mentioned, Lennon got a nice cheeky little chip. I was actually pretty proud of that. Because you all know Lennon's shooting is absolutely terrible. But Diego Capo did actually get through on goal and I was just playing shit in general. So I'm just literally repeating myself now. I'm just going to let you guys see what happened. Hugh Adardo gets through on goal, pokes it home. It was a great little finish actually. But I've never seen nothing like this. I mean, this is why this episode is called How's That a Penalty? Or Penalty What The Hell? So he pokes it home there lads. Gonzalez with a cheeky little finish. And I went on to lose that game, so because of an AIDS penalty. And we jump into the last game, guys. My voice is really going, so I'm really, really sorry for this. My commentary skills have really let me down tonight, and I need to go and uh, have a drink. <laughs> but we get into this last game against this geezer who has a Bamiyang. I believe it's a Bamiyang. I really hope that's how you say his name. Otherwise, I've pronounced his name wrong all season. But he throws it to me in the 10th minute. And I sweat goal it. Soldado, thank you very much. 34 goals. We will take that beauty. And he passes it out and then pauses it. And I was like, oh, what's he doing? So it carried down. 20 seconds are gone. And then the thing started flashing. I was like, oh, what's he doing? I believe he's left. Yep, connection has lost with your opponent. So that was basically it, guys. Um... I've got nothing else to say apart from <coughs> apart from Soldado's on 34 goals. I'm one goal away from adding another player to the squad. And as you saw earlier, I did add Carl Walker to the squad. I want to say thank you very much for watching this episode, guys. If you did like it, don't forget to hit that like button. Drop a comment if you feel you wish to. And I will see you guys next time. Peace out.